Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I am sharing with you the challenge for February inside the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Every month I've been putting together a little challenge for everybody to do. You can do it or not. The idea is just to be inspired to create. If you want to participate, follow along, make your own, take photos, and share it in the Facebook event inside the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group and get a chance to win a $10 off gift card to my shop or coupon to my shop. So what am I using? I've got some scraps of paper. I save the strips. I kind of put them in a little baggie and pick through them as I'm ready to use them. I have a few calico collage digital images. These are some of her floral botanical images that you can fussy cut, fussy cut flowers. And then I've got some mixed media papers and some other stuff. So let's just kind of get started here. So to start with, I did use some of my different punches. This is from a paper sack and I punched out a few shapes so that I could have those as kind of a layer. I've gone ahead and went around the edges with some distress ink on all of my pieces. This is a gel print that really wasn't that pretty but I thought it might look good with a little bit of a floral element with it. So to get started what I'm going to do is just put a little bead of glue down one side and just layer up pieces. It doesn't really matter how you put it together just however you like. I've gone around the edges with this piece and I think the flower can go on top so I'm just going to add some Aline's tacky glue to glue it together. If you want to add lace and fabric, you can do that. I like to keep mine relatively flat so that I can use them in a journal, on a page, maybe use these as a tuck spot, use them with, um, I don't know, just a little bit of everything. I was looking at this and I think I think I want some purple or a purple like color. Aha, and I have some purple thread here. I have some old thread that after a while it gets brittle and it breaks really easily. So I find that I can use it kind of to make a little bird's nest, if you will. So I'm just kind of making a little wad. And then I've stamped Be Yourself. It's a stamp set that if you go to my website and you just type Be Yourself, you'll find that stamp set but there also will be links in my description box if you want the direct link to get there all right so i'm just kind of laying that down and then i'm going to stamp or I already have the word stamped so this is just a scrap of book page that i cut off the edge all right so there's one set that aside and then i've got another one here that i've started this time i have a rectangular kind of punch now if you don't have the punches just fussy cut some papers or tear some papers. And then I think I'll do find a passion and I'll do the same with the little purple thread. Okay, I like that. I also have some little uh, paper flowers here. So I thought I'd grab a couple of these. These were some that I picked up a long time ago. I think at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, just put a little flower. These have like a wood little center, like a little dot or a bead. All right, well there's two that I made. Let's make some more. So this time I have another book page and I have a piece of gel print. So I'm going to glue this over here like so. And then I've got an oval and one of Norella's fussy cut dragonflies. I think I'm going to put it at an angle and then I'll glue the dragonfly on top like so. All right, and then I have the word dragonfly. That's another rubber stamp that I have and I've just made a bunch of these ahead of time. Let me zoom in, see if that gives you a little closer in. Ah, that'll be better. Okay, so I think this time I've got, whenever I rip fabric, it usually has little threads that come off of it. So I try to save those. And I think I saw, let's see here, kind of like this blue. Oh good, it's just a little piece. 
So I'll just kind of make a little spot there. And let's put it right here. So I'm going to put a little line of glue there. And then kind of stick the fibers down in it. And then I'll glue the word dragonfly. Kind of help to hold it in place by putting it over the top of it. And then I'll grab a little flower. We'll put one right here. I like that one. All right, so I have another dragonfly one. And since I've done several on this side with my strips, let's go to the other side. So again, I got another book page. And then this was a solid piece of a gel print. And then I think this was a edge from a mop-up paper that I cut for some other reason. So it's kind of fun to use up those scraps that you have left over from projects. And this is one of these projects that you can sit and watch television or visit with someone while you play just a little bit. You don't have to concentrate too much. I don't think anyway. This one down here. Okay. And then since we had that dragonfly going that way, let's do this one going the opposite direction like so. And I've got the word dragonfly again, and I just realized I put glue on it before I found some thread. We had purple there. Here's some multicolored little piece, so I'll cut a little piece of that. Let's put it right down here. Kind of hold that in place right there. And let's add another little flower. Why as well, right? All right, I made two different sets here. Do you need more? Let me see what I have. Maybe I'll make one more set of something. This one's a little different. So I've got scrapbook paper here. It was just a scrap that was left over. So let's put that one right here. And this time I've got like a basket and this square image. So I'll put down the square punch piece. Again, this was a paper sack, a grocery sack, a little basket with a bow on top. And then I had some little green thread here. So I'm thinking of putting it up higher. So yeah, let's put it up here. I got glue on my fingers so the thread was sticking to me. And then I've stamped the word dream on a scrap of paper. So I'll glue that down. And of course, let's add another flower to this one as well. You could add other things if you like. Um, I just saw a button. If you like buttons, you could do that. So there's another. And then I've got one more here that I can make. I've got a piece of cardstock that I had printed. One of the images from the... I think it might be from... The dancing dragonfly kit or it might be from the wild and free kit I don't remember it was just a scrap that I had left over and then this little skinny piece I had trimmed down a mixed media paper that I made to make it a little bit smaller and that strip was just laying here so I thought why not and then this time I've got some red in the flowers so let's glue this down and I think a little bit of red right here. I think this is from when I was ripping Christmas fabric that I got those little pieces of the red. And then I stamped another word. Let's put that right there. And of course, why not? We've been doing it all along. Let's grab another little flower. I'll glue that down like so. Clean off my desk a little bit here. I've got a couple others that I made before I recorded the video. So there's one that I made. And then here's another that I made. Let me zoom back out so you can see all of them. So let's kind of line them all up so you can see them. So, you know, that didn't take very long. Of course, I did prep by having the papers already torn and laid out. But, you know, don't stress over it. Just kind of grab a few things that you have, maybe something that's nearby, and play with those. If you don't have these fussy cut images from Calico Collage, you know, look at your uh, gardening books and find some flowers in those, or maybe a magazine that you can cut out some flowers. 
there's a lot of ways that you can get those. You don't have to purchase the items. You can use what you have or what you can find. Tell your friends and neighbors to save like your old calendars. They can, you can cut fussy cut flowers out of those as well. So make some clusters. Take a photo of your clusters and then share it in the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group for the February challenge. At the end of February, we will we'll draw a random person who participated and they'll get a $10 off coupon to my shop. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Check the description box for links to Norella's items as well as my rubber stamps that I shared. Do check out my blog as well as my Facebook page. What else? You no, know, I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, so come by and hang out with me while I go live. If I'm not actually live, I do have a premiere video that will show at that time as well. Uh, I don't know. Enjoy. Have fun. Get out. Get some creativity out of your system by making some stuff. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.